crafter and today I have a lot of rubbish on my desk an actual load of rubbish on my desk and this is from Amazon <laughs> from an old photo card thing that's been sitting in my drawer for pff, must be getting the double figures a, there's just all sorts bits of books, packaging, more envelopes, plastic bags. I'm going to make something fabulous with it. Well, we'll wait and see about the fabulous. <laughs> so, I'm going to make what is called a junk journal. Sorry if you can hear noises, it's just really hot in here today, so I've had to open the window when there's kids playing outside. Um, so, a junk journal. Is basically a journal made from junk no <laughs> well essentially yes it's just a journal and you know there's loads of YouTube videos on them but I've seen a lot of people moving away from the junk element and a lot of the Facebook groups I'm part of people have been saying you know they're not saying much junk in air quotes in junk journals apart from some old books so I thought let's go back to basics let's do a uh, nearly no spend I'm going to try and keep this it's not going to be free <laughs> there are going to be bits and pieces you need to buy but essentially with stuff you have around the house stuff that you would normally throw away or put in the recycling um, so you might want to hold off putting your recycling out um, I will say the things that you will need that you may not have oh Okay, um, this I'm going to use to cover the front of the journal. This is um, Crafts You Create. This is known as scrapbook paper. It measures 12 inches by 12 inches. It's 250 GSM, so it's, all, it's like cardboard essentially. Um, 2 dollars from B&M's. Now, I will say go to B&M's or the works um, because online scrapbook paper can be ridiculously expensive if you're looking at things like Tim Holtz, Stampira, things like that what's the other ones like Avenue or something it's a lot of money essentially for a bit of paper so this is the cheapest I've found $2.99 you get 24 sheets these are all the different designs you get in it if you, you can use these for anything I mean we could use them to make elements to go in the junk journal as well um, you know it's handy to have I mean some of these you could just frame um, like that is that shown it on camera you know um, just make cards out of them you know so I will say that I was going to say double sided tape, I have this with an ATG gun, now these are expensive but just your rolls of double sided tape from the pound shop or b and home bargains, um, PVA glue, I have this in a little bottle, I think I got the little bottle from AliExpress which is also a great place for cheap craft supplies, now I understand some people are wary from buying from China um, you know things like quality and will it get ya I have ordered 300 plus items from AliExpress in the past year and a half um, if things haven't turned up or haven't been as described they have been resolved within 12 hours if that it's no hassle I've had no problems with them and I'm basically bought everything from rubber stamps, ink pads, papers, stickers, napkins, um, a lot of people's <laughs> birthday and Christmas presents from there. But there are things like eBay, I will say have a look online. Um, I've also got scissors, a craft knife, this came from, I do believe, Aldi's. They sometimes get some good craft bits in and again, affordable. 
pair of scissors. We're all gonna have scissors lying around the house. A metal ruler. I will see if you're using the craft knife. You don't necessarily need a craft mat. You know something like your Argos catalogue? Or your yellow pages. Do we still get yellow pages? <laughs> it might just be really old school here. Um, of an old book. Just something to protect your surface from the blade. Or if you've got something like a workbench, like a dead like puppy in the garage, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to try and keep this low cost and fun. So as I say, this is a really sturdy card envelope from Amazon. And I kept it because it was sturdy card and you never know when you're going to need a sturdy card. You could use card from a cereal box, you know, just anything you have lying around. The card from the back of your paper pad. Just noticed that. Just inspiration came from us. What else have I got in my pile? So it's all messy, isn't it? So, for the actual pages that I've got, um, this. You know when everyone used to print off at Christmas your photos, family photos, and used to put them in a card, but now you have a service that does that for you and posts them for you. So these have just been sitting in a drawer for the longest time. So I thought I'd use that. And also the coordinating envelope, because otherwise that's just going to be lying around useless. This is, you know, that first blank page inside of a book. Yeah, I cut the book up. <laughs> <laughs> and this was left and I couldn't bring myself to throw it away it's got that old book smell as well oh, weird this is packaging from the super drug parcel and I got very excited by it I know I think I just love the textures and whatnot this is a little gift bag my sister put a little present in it for me and I love the colours I love the stripes Again, some more packaging. This was like a lucky dip bag. And I just love that secret. I'm just twinkly. Do love the noises. Um, a brown envelope from the post. Um, I like that it has this window. Because we can do fun things with this window. Who's I going to say? Yeah, it's a brown envelope. We get them in the post all of the time. Your bills come in then. Um... This was what my bag statement came in. <laughs> Get them every month. Um, a crossword book that I finished. That was the first page out of it. I thought that was fun. Um, this, I don't know what I'm going to do with yet, but I just like how thick the card was and I like the shapes of these things. So that's probably not going to be a page, that's probably going to be a, a embellishment on a page. This is from a packet of biscuits. Very nice biscuits from Lidl. If you ever in there, I do recommend them. Again, this is probably going to be some sort of ephemera piece embellishment for a page. All of this brown wrapping. I mean, it's about a metre and a half long. Out of packaging. Crinkly, I love the sounds. This I found in the loft when I was sorting some stuff out. It was by itself, just lying there, and I thought, I like the colour of that. <laughs> I like this little tab here. I like that it has these holes in. And another envelope, again, just came through the post, don't know what it was for. Probably trying to sell us some sort of appliance insurance. So those are the sort of things I'm not using. Of course, you can use anything you want. Pages for magazines. Like I've said before, or books. You could use your entire scrapbook paper pad. If that is what you intended. Just anything. I've seen people use things like pieces of fabric as well. <laughs> Making pages out of those. Um, 
just basically anything you feel like you can do something with crisp packets that was the thing i read a comment this woman said she was making a junk journal for her grandson in his favorite crisps or like cheetos or what's it or something and when he was finished with the packet she washed it out and she's going to incorporate it somehow into a junk journal and i think that's just amazing because i wouldn't have thought of that so as i say the first thing we need to do is sort out our cover because that's going to determine the size of the pages so i just move all of this to one side so we are currently at if i just if but if i measure the whole thing as it is 20.5 centimeters by 23 and a half i'm gonna say that's a bit big for i want it for so what i'm going to do first is get out my other cutting mat if i can find it just because it's pink <laughs> And I'm going to take off the top seam, seam, edge, just where this flap is glued over to. So, Stanley knife, or craft knife, you could probably do it with a pair of scissors. Metal ruler, and we're just going to make light strokes. I'm going to make several passes until we cut through the entire piece. Don't you love the sound that makes? And there you are, we are through. And that bit can be thrown away. I don't feel I need to keep it. <laughs> Disclaimer alert. I sort of have a holding problem when it comes to rubbish. And you'll see that as we go along. Now, for the height, turn my wood around the right way. I think 16 centimetres. Did I bring a pencil over? I did not. Oh. It's going to be a nice height. And I'm just going to measure it on this side as well because everything I do seems to be wonky. <laughs> and you can also get epic paper trimmers that will probably cut through this no problem but we're doing this minimum spend okay light strokes don't need to put too much pressure on we'll have to do it all in one go I'm looking at this, thinking this is a nice bit of cardboard. This bit I'm going to keep. We're going to keep it, we're going to incorporate it. It can go in a pile of other stuff. <laughs> I told you, I have a problem. This should be like an AA meeting for <laughs> junk journalists. Oh. And I think, do I want to do about 12? We'll start at 12. We'll see what that looks like. We may take it down a bit more. As I see, there are lots of junk. Sorry, I just, I just smacked you in the face. There are lots of junk journaling videos out there. And it's amazing. And I stay up late many a night watching them instead of going to sleep. <laughs> ah. Right, you always remember retract your blade because that's how accidents happen. I'm not going to keep this bit because it's a bit flimsy. This bit is nice and thick and so we use that and I'm throwing it away it's in the recycling now 
do we think that needs to be smaller or is that a nice size? You know what else I love about symbol, which I forgot to say was ready made spine. Oh yeah. Um I think that's a nice size. It's a nice size to get started. Now I wish my corner puncher would cut through those, but I don't think it will. And again, that's a tool that you would invest in, and we're not gonna be investing in tools. So next step I think is to cover it do you think we should cover it next or do you think we should sort out the pages next let's let's sort out the pages next okay so how I'm going to do this is each of each piece will be two pages I'll have to put my card down so this envelope I am going to board it half like that in my hands, push it in there, and that is marvelous. This, because it's like that, I was going to use that. So, what I'm going to do is into it. Can we see? Is everybody watching? Mark here. Mark there. Mark here. And then, again, craft knife or scissors, whichever you are most comfortable with. I'm going to get a straight line with a craft knife. I'm going to come in from that mark because I want my cover to be slightly larger than my pages like it's even traditional book let's just try and straighten this up oh, again just slight strokes until you are through Ben I feel like I need to tell you when I'm throwing stuff away Come in the same on this side. But I don't think that was as straight as it could have been. But oh, it's a junk journal. Oh, you know what I've done? <laughs> I've put out those marks. Well, let's see. But we're fitting nicely top to bottom. I'll mark that again. And then we will come in again. Light strokes. The curve. Retract the blade. We don't want any bloody fingers. And this is quite what I bear with it to put it all away for now. Let's just see. Oh, it's like a dream. So we have that. We have our envelope. We have this envelope, which again I'm going to I was gonna say cut in half. Fold in half. Oh, that just fits nice. Now for this, I'm going to put the top off. And again, the pages don't have to be the same size. They could be any size we want them to be. So, and I'm just going to do this because, as well, also. <laughs> as well, because also, it was ripped ragged. So, we're going to have to cut it anyway, regardless. And I've just realised I can actually line things up. I mean, cutting that and use the straight grid lines on there. <laughs> the, which is probably what they are there for in the first place or else it would just be plain, wouldn't it? So, rubbish. <laughs> I don't really feel like I need to keep telling you. Okay. Oh look, it's getting, it 
to get some pages in it. Okay, this. I think I'm going to fold in half that way. Which way is that length? Way is long way is width way. And I said I like that little tab. Yep. Oh, that folding was atrocious. Try and line it up a bit better. So I want to keep that tab. And I think I'm just going to go from where that hole is. Or just below it because that's where my straight line is. <laughs> I'm bored. Should we just make this up as we go along? Oh, oh, guess what? We could also use this bit as a page. Right, we're going to put that there. That there. That there. I'm going to have to cut a smidge more off that. So I'm going to take it off the top end this time because I don't want to end up with a funny hole. What the time is? Oh, we've been at this too long. Time flies when you have them full. Rubbish. I do love the holes. Okay, what else have we got? I want to use one of those paper bags. Ooh, itchy eye. Which is a perfect size already. And I think a couple more pages. I want to use the plastic bag. It's got a little bit. Which side is that sticky down? And it's got the remains of the cat stick on it. It's so cute. Oh, sorry, I wasn't in frame. I do apologise. Um, I think I'm going to put the dead center. And I think one more. And I really want to use one of these. Is good enough. So I marked it roughly, and then I'm taking like the nearest line. <laughs> Those I'm going to put in the bin. And I've actually, you can do this one a bit longer than the nearest line because I've got so much off the other side. Was in the bin. Oh, and have a retracted one out. Yes, we have. We remembered. And I think I want a green page to be at the front. Some body part. And that keeps the one skewer with me. So we have our cover made from our Amazon envelope. It don't worry about all these stickers. We'll sort that. And we have half of that what are they called? Divider pages? Index papers? <laughs> Things with tabs on them? With our punched holes. We have the packing material, which I may actually take a smidge more off. Just a smidge. 
a little bit long. Back to where we were at. So we have our envelope cover, our green with the hole there, our packing material, our envelope, paper bag, our photo envelope, the other green bit. Envelope, cellophane bag, which is going to be the bane of my life because it only be in the middle. And then that is our centre point. And then we have the same going in reverse. Paper bag, envelope, packing material. And that is step one of how we make a junk journal. Don't worry, we'll sort out the in a minute. Well, not in a minute, probably in the next video. So, I'll let you get reading your recycle bin and your cupboards and your drawers because we all have stuff stashed everywhere. I can just see <laughs> kitchen ladders with cereal bars all over the place. And I will say goodbye because we have nine, eight, seven seconds left on my battery. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.